Hello everyone welcome to unlock maths today we are going to find derivative of cos of ax by using first principle so yes here we have this f of x is equals to this is cos of ax so we know we have first principle yes we have this f dash of x is equals to this limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h right so by using this formula we have to find derivative of this cos of ax so yes we need to put here f of x plus h so from this we will write this is f of x plus h so yes what we have to do we have to replace this x by x plus h so here we have this is cos of ax plus ah right so yes now we have to put down this f of x plus h and f of x so here we have this limit h tends to 0 this cos of ax plus ah minus this is cos of ax upon h yes now yes we can check that here when we put h is equals to 0 we will get this 0 by 0 form right so yes what we have to do yes we have to apply this formula here this is cos of a minus cos of b yes what is this formula yes we have this is minus of 2 sin of this a plus b by 2 and to the sign of a minus b by 2 yes this is we have factorization formula so yes we have to convert this cos of a minus b in this factorization so yes we have to apply this formula here yes we have to consider this is as a and this is as a b so here we will have this is minus 2 into this is sine of this ax plus ah plus this ax by 2 into this is sine of a minus b that means here this is ax plus ah minus ax by 2 and this is upon h right yes so yes we will take this minus 2 outside this limit yes so on simplification yes we will get this is cos of twice ax plus ah by 2 into sine of this ax x get cancelled so here we have sine ah by 2 upon h right so again we can write yes on simplification we will get sine of this is ax to, to get cancelled so here we have ah by 2 and this is sine of ah by 2 this is upon h yes now yes when you put h is equals to 0 yes we will get this is sine of ax here and here this get vanish so yes so here we have to adjust this formula limit x tends to 0 this is sine of x by x is equals to 1 yes this is standard result of limit so yes we have to adjust this here so yes we have here this is limit h tends to 0 sin of ax plus ah by 2 this is sin ah by 2 yes we will write down this h on this denominator of sin so here we have to adjust ah by 2 so yes we have multiplied this h by this a by 2 so here we have to adjust this 2 by a yes 
so that we can apply this formula here. Yes, now we will separate the limit sin ax plus ah by 2 and this is limit h tends to 0. This is sin of ah by 2 and this is ah by 2. Yes, 2 by a we will write this is outside this limit. Yes. So, yes, here 2 to get cancelled. So, here we will get this is a will get this is in numerator. So, here we have yes, this minus a. So, now yes, we can put limit here. We have to put h is equals to 0. So, here we will get this is sine of ax plus 0. And this is by this result here we have this is as a 1. So, yes, on simplification, yes, we get here, this is minus a into sine of ax. So, yes, what we have found here, we have found this f dash of x. And what is f of x here? f of x is here, this is cos of ax. So, what we got here? This is sine of ax into a. Yes. So, yes, we have find derivative of cos of ax is equals to this minus of sine of ax into a, right? Where a is a constant. That means we can write any derivative. This is by putting any value of a here, we can find this is derivative of cos of 4x. We will get here minus of sine 4x into 4, yes? So, in this way, we have find derivative of cos of ax. So, yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.